Hey there guys, I share with another video for Fashion Me Curvy and I did another poll on Twitter asking what my next video should be. I think it was my first bikini wax or Brazilian wax, something like that. Um, darn it, what is it? What are they? I need to remember the ghost upstairs and how I met my Swedish boyfriend. There we go. I was trying to remember it's super hard because I'm ditzy. Anyways, well, the ghost upstairs won. So let's go ahead and tell you about that story. Okay, so to put it in place, we moved into this house when I was about 15 years old, 14, 15 years old, yeah, typically. My mom was just looking for a nice home, you know, that was cheap and would be big enough for all of us. And, uh, well, as soon as we moved in, we kind of did some research on the house because we kept hearing, like, weird bumps and stuff in the house at night. We, d we thought maybe it was mice or maybe there were squirrels in the attic and we had it checked out. And none of that was true because we had a cat and the cat, you know, would have took care of that after a while and it didn't really get taken care of. Well... We found out from the realtor, I think, or somebody that there was a Hispanic family living in this house before us. And what will come to find out, their grandmother died in our living room on the rocking chair. <laughs> that's the story that I heard here. That's why we hear creaking noises, I think, upstairs. Okay, well, this story, I'm just giving you a backstory on the house. But what's going on is what I'm going to be telling you now. Okay, I had gotten very sick in 2013 and you know I would sometimes like feel like I saw things out of the corner of my eyes you know like I felt very paranoid and anxious and stuff like that when I was when I was very 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 sick well I mean you know when I was first diagnosed with what I have and my sister and I um we were laying in bed and my mother I think had gone camping or something like that um my sister was keeping me company you know just like we were watching movies when we were laying in the bed and um we had no animals in the house at this time next thing we know we hear like these loud banging noises upstairs and me and my sister are both chickens you know you see a lot of the people like in movies where they go upstairs and go investigate it no <laughs> we were just staying downstairs and you know at the time my mother kept trying to tell me oh it was just the pipes and stuff it was not the pipe we were laying downstairs like i said and next thing we know we were just hearing banging and like someone walking upstairs like running up and down the hallway upstairs and we were so scared that we called mom like mom we think someone's in the house or something because we hear stuff she goes oh it's just your imagination stuff like that so we just knocked it off and started watching a movie again and we you know we was about to go to bed like turn the lights off and stuff and next thing we know we hear the cupboards and the dishwasher upstairs like just banging away and me and my sister are just like okay there there's got to be something wrong but we never went upstairs because we were too afraid that morning we went upstairs and all the cabinets upstairs were open the chairs from the kitchen table were pulled out and the recliner where that lady's rocking chair was the grandmother that had died in my house was like open the recliner had like opened up and me and my sister were like okay my mom must be like practical joking us because we you know there's no way right there's no way we never actually saw anything we just heard heard it all and we went and talked to my mom we was like mom like what's the deal trying to like pull our leg and joke with us and stuff and she's like I was camping you guys know I was camping like <laughs> there's no way I could have done this stuff so to this day I don't know if someone could have like broken into the house and was just like fucking around up there or if we have a ghost in the house because every now and then when we're here you know laying in bed we'll hear stuff upstairs or um especially at night around 3 a.m like everything I've ever seen is always around 3 a.m and it's very very spooky um I I don't know but now I have cats so I just justify it say it's my cat running around upstairs but at the time I was very sick and I I was very close to dying and it was just I don't know if it was like a connection with that or something like that was just happening we don't know my sister was still in high school it was just very very scary um and I just I, I don't I do not know how to how to explain it. I do not know how to explain it and another couple things is I know is it got very cold downstairs like someone had turned the air conditioner up and when we had checked it that morning it was down to 59 on the um heating air unit on our on our thing I just got scared I'm sorry my cat he's a little white cat like talking about this like scared the tar out of me my cat over here is messing with my curtains and I saw it moving and it's it I got freaked out because I'm talking about it I'm filming to you guys it's uh, it, it just scared the tar out of me <laughs> did you see the fear in my face I was like I don't know <laughs> 
it really does scare me this stuff and um because I don't like it uh, I don't know it's just it's just not good and just experiencing these type of things is just really really scary <laughs> but if you've had anything similar like that happen to you or you've had um, any kind of ghost stories anything like that and you like to share it with me in the comments below go ahead if you've had anything like this happen to you or you have a video about it go ahead and tell me about it um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on snapchat if you want to talk to me every now and then I just post silly things and makeup swatches and my Instagram all fashion me curvy don't forget <laughs> it's just so scary all right bye guys <laughs>